This is the original Pulsetto, and this is the new Pulsetto Fit. Both use vagus nerve stimulation to help you calm down, sleep better, and feel more balanced. But here's the big question. Is Pulsetto Fit really an upgrade, or is it just a prettier version of the same gadget? I've been testing both side by side, and today I'll break down the real differences, how they feel, what features changed, and how the app connects, and whether it's worth upgrading if you already own the original. If you're already eyeing one of these devices, I've got something for you. You'll find exclusive Health News discount codes for both the original Pulsetto and the new Pulsetto Fit linked down below. Just tap the description or scan the QR code on screen to unlock the best available deals. Whether you're going for the classic or the upgrade, you'll save big either way. First, a quick explainer. What is Pulsetto? Pulsetto is a neck-worn device that sends gentle electrical pulses to your vagus nerve. This method, called transcutaneous vagus nerve stimulation, or TVNS, is used to help calm your nervous system, improve sleep, and reduce stress or anxiety. Basically, it's like a wearable anti-anxiety shock collar, kind of, but don't worry, it doesn't hurt. Now it's time to unbox both the Pulsetto Original and the Pulsetto Fit. First, let's start with the Pulsetto Original. All right, let's open it up. And right away, we have a picture of what I'm assuming are the founders or yeah, the co-founders of Pulsetto. A little welcome card, which is really nice. That actually has a very nice personal touch. Here we have a straightforward user guide, good quality. But let's get to what really matters, the actual device itself. Right away, we have the Pulsetto Original, which feels good. We can extend here for the next size. We have the electrodes right here, two on each. And then we have this um, padding or sort of this protective case uh, at the end of the neck here or at the back portion uh, for the neck. I wonder if that comes off at all if I want it to, not sure. But let's put this to the side and see what else we get in the box. Under here, we have the conductive gel, which you place on your neck before putting on the device. And there should be, yes, here it is, a USB-C charging cable. Now the actual Pulsetto original itself, it's slightly stiff. There's a little bit of room for movement. There's a little bit of leeway, but not too much. It has this sort of plastic, simple coating over it. Nothing too special. Uh, USB-C charging port right there. The uh, on and off button there. And then the electrodes, the built-in electrodes for the actual stimulation. Now, to be honest, this feels a little bit utilitarian you know what i mean it feels like a medical device almost instead of a like a lifestyle gadget if that makes sense now let's unbox the pulsetto fit the top slides right off very nice and we are welcomed with the same manual that was in the pulsetto original again sticking with the black and green color scheme and right away we have the pulsetto fit and this looks much sleeker right off the bat. This plastic coating that it has feels different than the Pulsetto original and looks like just sleeker and more modern. Looks like there's just a little bit more thought put into it. Um, there's some differences here within the band. Uh, these are going to be for the magnetic pads that I'm going to show you in just a second. Much more flexible, but still sturdy. It doesn't feel like delicate at all. And it looks like it can hold uh, a larger neck more comfortably with the how long it extends and with its flexible arc that they introduce into the Pulsetto Fit uh, that's not in the Pulsetto original. What we have are two magnetic paddings. These are different sizes that you can use depending on your neck size for more comfort. We also have the same conductive gel as well as the same USB-C charging cable. Now let's take a closer look at the Pulsetto Fit itself as well as the magnetic padding that it comes with, which by the way, are very soft. These feel like it will give you much better comfort than the Pulsetto Original or even just using it you know, by itself without the padding, which you can do. So you can use it without the padding and there's also a small and a medium sized padding depending on your neck size, which is gonna, of course, like I said, improve comfort. As I was holding this in my hand when I took it out the box, this feels a little bit lighter. This feels like a lifestyle gadget. This feels like something I can put on comfortably and not feel like I'm in a doctor's office. Do you know what I mean? And especially with the padding, which I'll show you how it goes, I'm gonna use a thinner one here. It just snaps into place magnetically, just like that. So off, on, off, on. Very simple, 
very easy to use, very easy to interchange with the other size, which I enjoy. Let me put on the small one here, and then we'll just put this on real quick, extend it a little bit for my neck, and immediately you can feel a big difference. It's just much more comfortable. I mean, these paddings are very soft, magnetic. I love it. Already, it just feels like a more premium experience. Now for some crucial differences I want to mention between the Pulsetto Fit and the Pulsetto Original. Obviously, the magnetic paddings. Now your device is much more customizable and the Pulsetto Original does not come with these. Another difference worth mentioning is the material. This is a much better feeling silicone sort of like material that just feels nicer in the hands, which is gonna feel nicer around your neck as well. And I can really enjoy that. And it makes it feel a little bit more lightweight than the Pulsetto Original, which does not have silicone sort of coating on it. This is just straight plastic. Another crucial difference that I slightly mentioned before is the flexibility of the Pulsetto Fit. I mean, look how much I'm stretching it, and it doesn't feel like it's gonna snap, doesn't feel like it's gonna break, doesn't feel like it's gonna give. We have some extra extensions here if we want, and even with that, that is not gonna break at all, it doesn't feel like it. It's very, very nice, much more flexible, which is gonna make the uh, comfort a better experience. Now let's pretend I knew nothing about these products and no information about them, and I was gonna pick one blindly simply based on feel. I would 100% without a doubt go with the Pulsetto Fit. Not to say that the original is bad. Like I said, it just seems like this is gonna give a much more pleasant experience while using the product, especially during longer sessions. And not only is comfort one thing, but as someone who likes to work outside of the house and do remote work, if I'm gonna be using this thing in public, which I plan on doing, I think I would just go for the all black in the Pulsetto Fit versus the Pulsetto Original. It just has a much sleeker looking sort of feel to it. And I think I'd be, you know, feeling a little less awkward wearing this one than I would with this one. So let's break down what's actually new in the Pulsetto Fit compared to the original. The first change you'll notice is the magnetic padding system. You now get small, medium, or no padding at all, so you can tweak the fit to your neck shape. For longer sessions, this really helps prevent those pressure spots on the electrodes. The band itself has been redesigned into what they call a flexible arc band. It's lighter, softer, and flexes more easily to adapt different neck types. Honestly, that alone makes it feel less like a rigid gadget and more like something you can actually forget that you're wearing. The brand also switched to medical grade materials with a smoother silicone-like coating. It's much more gentle on the skin, which is great if you're using Pulsetto Fit daily. Another subtle but welcome change is the smoother pulse ramp up. Instead of jumping straight into full stimulation, the Pulsetto Fit eases you in with a gentle rise and fall mode. It's a small touch, but it makes sessions feel less abrupt. The LED light is brighter now, so you can actually see your battery and session status in daylight. And while the battery life isn't dramatically different, the Fit does stretch it to about 1.2 weeks per charge versus one week on the original. So it'll last about an extra day or two. Now the app and core modes, those haven't changed. The improvements here are all about comfort, build quality, and usability. The change is in the hardware, not the software. And just a quick reminder, we've got exclusive discount codes for both Pulsetto versions waiting for you in the description down below. You can also scan the QR codes that you see on screen right now. Plus, you're covered with free worldwide shipping and a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can try either Vegas Nerve Stimulator totally risk-free. Setting up either Pulsetto Vegas Nerve device is straightforward and identical for both versions. The only difference is with the Pulsetto Fit, you pick the magnetic padding size that feels most comfortable around your neck. And then once that's done, you apply a little bit of the conductive gel to your neck, place a device around your neck, power it on, and open up the Pulsetto Wellness app. It connects automatically over Bluetooth, no pairing codes needed. Inside the app, you'll find the same five base programs for both devices. Sleep, stress, burnout, pain, and anxiety. And if you wanna go further, there's also a premium upgrade that unlocks guided meditations, breathwork sessions, and daily tasks to help you build a routine and engage you in various daily vagus nerve exercises. I've been using both versions of Pulsetto regularly over the past couple of weeks, and I've got a pretty good sense of how they feel in real life and day-to-day -day use. 
Starting with the original Pulsetto, the stimulation was surprisingly calming right from the first few sessions. It's this mild tingling or pulsing at the front of or around the neck, and depending on what strength you have it set to, sometimes you can feel the pulsing or twitching up towards your jawline. Not unpleasant at all, and you get used to it very quickly. It doesn't feel like a dramatic switch being flipped either, more like a gentle nudge that gradually brings your nervous system into a lower gear. The only downside, the one-size-fits-all design can feel a bit rigid during longer sessions. I sometimes had to adjust it just to make sure both electrodes stayed in full contact, otherwise the stimulation could feel a little uneven. Now moving on to the Pulsetto Fit. This is where the comfort upgrade really made a difference. The softer coating, the flexible band, and those magnetic paddings made it feel more like a second skin. I found myself using it not just at night, but even during midday breaks at my desk because it was more comfortable and easier to forget that I was wearing it, which meant I could run longer sessions without fidgeting or readjusting. After stressful mornings with a kid and work, I noticed my breathing slowed down, my head felt less noisy, and I could think straight again. At night, using the sleep program, I did fall asleep a little faster each time I used it. And that's for sure my favorite program in the app. There have actually been a few times where I've fallen asleep while wearing it during the sleep session and was woken up by the sensation of it stopping, then I would tuck myself into bed and fall asleep easily. But that goes to show just how comfortable the Pulsetto Fit actually is. Now, whether that's just placebo or it's the real thing, I can't say for sure, but the relaxing sensation was definitely there. So here's my take after using both the Pulsetto Fit and the original. If you're buying Pulsetto for the first time, the Pulsetto Fit is the clear winner. It's more comfortable, better built, and still gives you all the same core functions. And for those already using the original Pulsetto, I'd only recommend upgrading if you've struggled with the neck fit, maybe you want something lighter, or could use the slightly longer battery life. If you're perfectly happy with how the original feels, you're not missing out on any new programs, the app and the stimulation modes are exactly the same. Either way, we've got special deals on both versions linked in the description down below, and you can also scan the QR codes you see on screen to grab the best current offer. Thank you for watching my hands-on look at the Pulsetto Fit and the original Pulsetto. If you're curious about other wellness and health tech we've tested here at Health News, make sure to check out our other reviews, from smart rings to red light therapy tools. You'll see some of my favorites linked right here on screen. My name is Steven. Thank you for watching and stay healthy.